Hey there Savvy TV shoppers! Today we're diving into the Hisense TV mystery and trust me it's a real head-scratcher. I'm not here to bore you with a laundry list of specs and features, we've all seen those videos, right? Instead, I'm taking a different approach that I think you'll find eye-opening when it comes to choosing your next Hisense TV. So, let's kick things off. When we're in the market for a smart TV, what do we all look for? Display quality, screen size options, price, build quality, smart features, audio, performance, brand reputation, warranty, and support. These are the biggies, right? And where do we get all this info? Big reputable websites, forums, and actual user reviews? Those comment sections? Gold mines of real-world experiences? Now here's where it gets interesting. On paper, Hisense seems to tick all these boxes. They're crushing it in the mid-range market offering top-notch features and great displays without breaking the bank. Erdings.com is swooning over their U-Series and A-Series. Statista shows them nabbing the fourth spot with over 10% market share in North America in 2022. And get this, PR Newswire reports they've leapfrogged TCL to grab the third spot in North America and Europe in 2024 with a 12.2% increase. Over on Quora, the Hisense love fest continues. Even top YouTubers like Be The Installer have comment sections full of folks choosing Hisense over Samsung and LG. Sounds pretty sweet, right? But hold on to your remotes, folks, because here comes the plot twist. A while back, I made a video about Hisense TV lifespan quoting stats of 5, 7 years. Decent, yeah? Well, the comment section exploded. We had viewers reporting their TVs barely making it past the 2-year mark, some getting 3 years and others, their TVs were toast in just months talk about TV drama. And Reddit? It's like stepping into Bizarro World. The experiences there are the complete opposite of what we're seeing on Quora and those big review sites. So, what's the real deal here? Are we looking at some next-level marketing magic? Are some high-sense models hidden gems while others are total duds? This is where you come in, TV detectives. We need your help to crack this case. Got a high sense? Spill the tea? How long have you had it? Is it still going strong or has it gone to the big screen in the sky? Would you recommend it to your bestie or warn them to run for the hills? Which Hisense models, if any, would you actually recommend? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get to the bottom of this Hisense mystery together. Your real-world experiences could be the missing piece for someone agonizing over their next TV purchase. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you want more content like this. And remember, your comments are the real MVPs here. They're not just helping me, but potentially thousands of other TV shoppers out there. Alright folks, see you in the next video.